Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm intending is gonna be quick, but you guys know how that goes. But I did receive my Jaclyn Cosmetics order in the mail today, so I wanted to do a very quick first impressions for you guys. So let's get started. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market. So I had to pick up the new products that Jaclyn launched. Now, I didn't pick up very much. Like I said, I only ended up picking up two duos because I was teaching when the launch happened and I forgot about it. And I did end up getting two of the three blush and bronzer duos that I wanted because by the time that I went on, it was about an hour after launch. There were still some items available, but it was very, very minimal. And I decided just to go with the blush and bronzers because this is what I was most curious about. And she did launch other colors in the other formulas that she's previously released like the mood light luminous powder and then we have her loose highlighter and then her actual pressed powders but I did pick up one of each formula in her holiday launch a couple of years ago and I couldn't remember what shades I already did have because I was interested in picking up another luminous powder shade and another loose highlighter shade but I couldn't remember what I had so I figured I already had those formulas I didn't need them I was most interested in the duos anyways so I'm going to start off with the duos and then if you're still interested in my thoughts in the other formulas, I will swatch what I have in case you're curious, but these are gonna be the main guys of the show. So while most of these products, with the exception of like one or two colors in the highlighting formulas, Everything sold out on the Jaclyn website. However, she's going to Ulta, so March 7th, you'll be able to get these products from Ulta, which I do recommend because it's always a little bit easier to return as well, and you can gain points with your Ulta stuff, but it is always nice as well to purchase from the original brand's website when you can, but if it's a rush to be able to get some stock, I think Ulta will be a little bit more of a relaxed experience. So let's start off with the blush and bronzing duos. So she came out with a range of seven shades. Oh, and in case you're wondering about shipping and all of that, I do live in Maryland and I did pay for expedited shipping. So here's what the boxes come in. It comes in a really beautiful rose gold box and then it has the name of the duo here. So the details about this, it has a 12 month shelf life and it's made in Italy, and, and Italy makes my favorite powders from my experience. Now here is what the packaging looks like. It is a plastic cover, like it doesn't feel as luxurious as her holiday packaging. However, I love the packaging, you guys. This is a unique compact in that, I mean, I can't really explain it, but you can see how the product just rests in the packaging and the clasp, I don't even know if it's really a clasp, but it feels very, very sturdy, so I'm really into the packaging. If there's one thing that she does well with her brand, it's it's her packaging. What's inside has been questionable in the past, but the packaging really is spot on. It feels luxurious. It's such an experience to open it. And then of course, I love the beveled products themselves. So I think overall, the aesthetic of the packaging, very luxe, I love it. So these are $36. I ended up with two shades. The first one is the Lilac love and top tan and then the other shade that I picked up is the pink me up and oh honey there was one more that I thought was a little bit deeper that I wanted but these were the only two available that I really thought would fit my skin tone so let me show you the comparison of the two so this one right here is the lilac love blush and this one right here is the pink me up blush just so you can see the differences the pink me up has a little bit more of a golden bronzer whereas the lilac's a little bit more neutral and then you can see the lilac of course has that cooler mauve tone to it so we're going to do a side by side swatch comparison because I do know that there's been a little bit of question about how similar the shades are so I'm going to swatch the lilac love and top tan first so they do swatch very sheer but they feel very buttery smooth I don't mind a sheer formula when it comes to face products because if it's too pigmented it can be harder to work with all right I'm going to swatch pink me up and then the bronzer 
So that's going to be the bottom swatches. I really feel like you can tell a difference in the bronzer and you can tell an undertone different in the blushes. Now in the grand scheme of things, when you sheer everything out on the cheek with a brush, are you gonna be able to tell the difference between the two? Probably not, but we will find out. So we're gonna start off with bronzer. I'm using a BK Beauty 103 brush. We're gonna do the lilac over here. And by the way, if you're curious about anything else that I'm wearing, it will be linked in the description box. Now I will say this foundation is <laughs> darker than my actual natural skin tone. I guess because I'm a PE teacher and I always teach outside, I've always had more color to me. And <laughs> obviously for the last year, basically not going outside, none of my foundations match me. But <laughs> anyways, we did get a little bit of kickback, but nothing obnoxious. It's definitely that kind of loose baked formula. And I'm gonna put this all over. And I'm not getting a ton of payoff, but it's really pretty and soft. You definitely have some playroom. So if you're a heavy handed person or you're more new to makeup, it's pretty foolproof. So you'll be good. I think this is a great beginner formula. As far as the bronzer, we'll get into the blush, but I don't think this is an amazing bronzer. If you're deeper than myself, I think you'll definitely have to go towards the deeper end of what she offers because I did pick up the two lightest ones. Those were what was available. Okay, I know I'm looking really cute right now, but the show must go on. I did want to point out that the two shades I picked up were for fair to light skin tones according to her website. So you'll see that it's very, very sheer on me. I think the one that would have flattered my skin tone the most is Warm Flush because that one is directed for light to medium skin tones. So I think I'm going to pick that one up at Ulta. Okay, and then I do want to actually use something that's a little bit more dense. So I'm going to use a BK Beauty 104 because I think this will pack on the color a little bit better. So you don't need to use a really loosely packed brush with this. Something dense might actually apply a little bit more color quick. This brush is stained. It has white bristles, but I promise you it's clean. This is the Esam V50. We're going to apply the lilac blush. Again, not a lot of fallout. Ooh, and it definitely applies just a nice wash of color. If you don't like a ton of pigmentation in your blush, you're really gonna like this, especially if you're more on the fair side. For me, I think I typically do prefer a blush with a little bit more color, but again, if you're heavy handed, you're more fair, you're a beginner to makeup, you might actually really appreciate this formula and it does have a very natural glow to it. This is going to be beautiful with cooler toned looks. So that's really pretty. Very soft, easy to blend, everything applied very nice and it was really smooth. So, so far, so good. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe off the brushes. All right, so now we're gonna go into Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. So starting off with that original BK Beauty 103 brush. And these bronzers aren't gonna give you a flat finish. They are gonna give you a very, very minimal sheen. And I mean very, very slight. It's just not a flat color. Sorry, my baby hairs are like everywhere. So these bronzers probably aren't gonna be the best for me when it's actually summer and I'm this color. I'm gonna go in with that more dense brush to build it up. Honestly, I really like the bronzer color. It's soft, it's nothing that's making my skin look really muddy. So I find both of these bronzers to be very complementary to my skin tone. Now, can you tell much of a difference? No. I think, you know, you have to be quite fair to be able to tell the difference between the two bronzer shades. And now we're gonna go into Pink Me Up here. And I went in pretty heavy with this blush because you have the ability to do that. And you'll see it definitely has that luminosity to the cheek. I think this one is a little bit more luminous than the lilac blush. And you can go back in for more because you have that flexibility with this product. And there you go. This is the lilac blush duo. This is the pink me up blush duo. Are you able to tell a big difference between the two with my skin tone and my foundation color right now? Not really. Like very, very, very slight differences in undertone because I'm looking for them. But if somebody's going to see you out on the street, they're not going to know you're wearing different colors. So my suggestion would be definitely you don't need to own all of these. I think picking one up with the undertone that you typically prefer to wear will do you well but you do not need all of the colors in this range but the formula itself is really nice and if you're a beginner to makeup they're very soft they blend very beautifully now it's not a formula that I prefer I do prefer a little bit more pigmentation especially in the blush I think the bronzer is actually a really nice change because a lot of the bronzers I have in my collection are actually 
very pigmented and it really is a nice change to have something that's very light that I know I can't overbuild and it's not going to look really mud gummy. So I actually prefer the bronzers more than I prefer the blush. They do have a really beautiful luminosity to them, but again, I'm a huge blush person, so I think I prefer something a little bit more pigmented. No, but you definitely don't need more than one, I would say, because the formula is so sheer. I think they're pretty good. I definitely do, but you're not gonna die if you don't have them. That covered the blush duos. That's everything new that I bought. But I did wanna talk about the other formulas in case you wanted to be a little bit more informed on my thoughts if you do plan on picking up what she has coming out on Sunday. So we'll start off with the Mood Light Luminous Powder. Now keep in mind, there is a different packaging now. This was from her holiday collection. So her new packaging looks beautiful. So these are gonna be $32. And when she originally Originally brought this product out a couple years ago. She described it as the product that's just going to give you a luminous lip from within glow. Now I own the shade Carrots. I'm very interested in trying a couple other shades like Do Me and Brighten Up because the tones are different. So let me show you what Carrots looks like. There are five shades all together and it's going to be hard to show you what the color exactly looks like because it's a sheer product. But here's what Carrots Carrots looks like on my finger. I just want you to be able to see some of that luminosity. And because of my studio lights, it definitely looks very, very shiny. So she described this product as something that you should use all over the skin. I'm using it all over my skin today and it does look very nice, but you need to use it very, very sparingly. I used a very, very flimsy brush and like tapped off my brush because what I don't like about this, if you apply too heavy of a layer of it or your brush is too dense, it's gonna make you look sparkly. It's a highlighter, really, if you use a more dense brush. Let me show you, actually. So it actually does make a beautiful highlighter, but to use it as what she originally advertised it for, like, I think it's too shiny, personally, but if you like that glow from within highlight and you're not into really intense highlight, it's actually quite beautiful. You can see it really does give that very natural highlight to it. So I do like this product. The only thing is when you put it all over the face, I find it to be a little bit too sparkly. You can kind of see the individual sparkles on the face. I think for this to really actually be a true finishing glow from within powder that you apply everywhere, those sparkles can't be there. It needs to hold that radiance without having those sparkles. And that's something that I cannot convey on camera. It's not going to show to you, but that's kind of my tip on this product. I do like it. I think it's nice, and I think it's a really gorgeous, just natural, glowy kind of product. But just be aware, if you are gonna use it all over your face, there's some tips that I have for applying. We also have her loose highlighters right here. So these are her Beaming Light Loose Highlighters, $24. Again, the packaging is different. She has six shades. Now, I have the shade bomb in case you want to take a look at that and these are exactly as they sound they're gonna give you a super intense metallic highlight right there and I like these they're nice but I don't find myself reaching for loose highlighters really it's just a bit messier this is like you can see that this is a really kind of outdated product in my opinion for Jaclyn Hill it certainly is on brand uh, but for me and what I prefer nowadays it is a more natural highlight so the mood light is actually what I would prefer for the highlighter if I was going to use something loose but you can blend it out to be very nice but just be aware it's it's a loose highlighter it's quite beaming so if you're not into that kind of vibe you might not be in love with this product but it's nice for what it's supposed to do I like it a lot so if you're into that product thumbs up on that. I already have one of the colors. I don't feel like I need any more. And the last product that she released are the Accent Light Highlighters. These are individual highlighters. They're $29 each. And I believe most of the shades are from the original Holiday Highlighter palette. So when I was taking a look, I couldn't find the Gleam on sale on the website, but I do have Ice, Sparks, and Mesmerize. So I'm gonna show you them if you are interested. So Ice, Sparked, and Mesmerized. I'm just gonna show you on my palm. Iced, Sparked, Mesmerized. 
so you can see and these are a really beautiful highlighting formula they're very smoothing on the skin I think that they blend onto the skin quite seamlessly uh, not that I need to be packing on more but I really do oops I really do love this highlighting formula so if you're on the market for a uh, press highlighting formula this is really nice it's really buildable you can get it to be quite shiny but you can also get it to be quite natural she really nailed this formula my only thing is like i mean do we all need highlighters probably not we already have so many but if you are looking into the highlighters i i recommend that formula a lot it's very nice all right you guys there we have it that was my first impressions on the blush duos again the video ran a lot longer than i intended because i talked so much also, if you had a question about the background, this is my artificial light background. It just, because the walls are like, okay, you don't care about this. You can, you can exit out. The video's done if you don't care about what I have to say. But this background is what I use when I film at night because the light bounces off the white walls so the video stays bright. Whereas my normal background that I use to film, I definitely need the daylight to light up my background. It definitely looks way too dark when I film in the nighttime. So, and I hope that makes sense. But anyways, I'm filming at night. This is what I have to use at night and so that you're able to see the true color of the product. Anyways, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you would consider taking the time to do so. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.